Hi, my name is Francois, I'm from Yulolab, and uh, today we've got really interesting research results to present to you guys. Um, so they just came out and we had a few surprises in there, so we thought that a video would be a good format to explain uh, what the researchers found about the game. So for those of you that don't know, Slice Fractions is a game in which you clear the vendor's path using ice and lava, and you do that using really important concepts behind fractions. Like as you play the game, you have to important to understand these concepts. And in order to develop the game and also to research it afterward, uh, we're collaborating with the University of Quebec in Montreal uh, with two researchers, Martin Riefel and Stéphane Cyr, and the research results just came out. Uh, so goal here is to present these to you. Uh, so what they did is they, um, they studied 139 students and they split them in three different groups. So one of them only received traditional teaching about fractions. Uh, second group had slice fractions, they played the game and also had uh, traditional teaching. And then the third group only played slice fractions. And what they did realize, in order to measure the progress, right, what they decided to do is to do a pre-test and a post-test, so taking the same test twice using uh, what is called the TIMS. The TIMS is a uh, standard international test being used in the past 20 years to measure uh, uh, progress of different countries and they extracted 14 questions that related to fractions in order to measure the improvement. So what they found is that the first group that received traditional teaching improved by 7.6%, second group improved by 10.3% and so they had traditional teaching plus slice fractions and then the third group, and that's the surprising part, improved by 10.5% only by playing slice fractions. The other surprise that we had was that um, if, if you think about you know, the different questions that they ask kids, right? some of them, four questions, were really abstract. And what we mean by that is uh, questions like, which fraction is equal to two thirds? Right? There's no visual support for that type of question. And so the hypothesis was that players that would just play the game, um, and which is mostly visual, right, would not improve as much on these questions uh, as to the other types of questions which had some sort of visual support. And the big surprise is that the players that played slice, or the, the students that played slice fractions improved the most, so they had the largest observed improvement and the largest effect size on these questions. And the way that the, the researchers interpret this result is that as you play as you play the game, you really understand the deep concepts behind fractions, and you're then able to um, transfer that over to more abstract questions. And this is really true understanding and this is what education should be about, right? So we're definitely excited about that result. And then the last part um, is that they, you know, since it's an international test, you can compare it to the United States um, and, their, um, and their average, which is 63.2% on these questions. And so if you look at the students that only played slice fractions, the group that only played slice fractions, their own average before playing the game was 51.1%. And in about three hours, so it's really quick, they went from that level to almost reaching the level of the United States, which is 61.7%. The other thing to understand is that um, the students in the United States, when they pass that test, they reach the end of fourth grade, right? So they're fourth grade students. Whereas in the experiment, the students that play size fractions were third grade students. And you know, in about three hours, they reached a level of fourth grade students to concepts relating to fractions. So that's also pretty powerful and we think uh, pretty encouraging. So the researchers conclude that size fractions is an efficient learning tool. Uh, of course, it's really important to mention that any tools like that isn't meant to replace teachers. It's meant to be used by teachers and we're really happy to be able to provide that tool to them. So thank you very much.